Hi, my name is Nick Bohr. I'm with NASA's Langley Research Center, and I'm excited that you're here to chat about NASA's X-57 project. It is our flight demonstrator for distributed electric propulsion technologies. Um, really, uh, what we're trying to do is show how new propulsion systems like electric propulsion can be integrated and distributed all around the airplane differently uh, than, than is traditionally done to really maximize benefits uh, of the airplane. So as a flight demonstrator, we're just trying to take something to flight as quickly as possible and not build all of the parts that we're not testing. So we're looking for an airplane to modify uh, so that way we can, we can take it to test as, as quickly and as cheaply as possible. We looked at a whole bunch of uh, different airplanes, uh, but uh, overall we selected the Technum P2006T light twin. It really fit the bill nicely. It has a, a, the gross weight is a, right about in the range that we're looking for. And in fact, um, as a training aircraft, um, it has a, has a stronger landing gear and a, and a lot of structural margin that enabled us to increase the gross weight by a few hundred pounds without violating any structural margin. It has a very roomy uh, a cabin uh, for our pilot, our test instrumentation, and over 800 pounds of batteries that we have to be able to put into this airplane. And uh, we were looking for uh, a high wing twin engine airplane um, that enabled us to uh, basically be able to take the old wing off and put our new um, very small uh, distributed electric propulsion wing on with these 14 electric motors. Uh, when we uh, were looking uh, at different aircraft, uh, one of the things that, that was uh, pretty helpful is that uh, when we reached out to Technum, they were, were very uh, enthusiastic. Um, in fact, they've been a great uh, partner in this effort. Uh, they they provided us with a lot of detailed information uh, about the airplane, things that you would not normally be able to get publicly. Um, so drawings and test reports and models, all sorts of things that we wouldn't have to reproduce when we're trying to evaluate whether or not we can make these modifications safely. They've been very responsive to questions about our proposed modifications, uh, and we've actually uh, purchased uh, two aircraft uh, straight off of the assembly line rather than, than used aircraft that we're modifying. This saved us a lot of time and effort because Technum was willing to make modifications like taking out the fuel tanks and the engines, uh, so that way these were things that we didn't have to do down the line. Um, so the first of these two airplanes um, uh, are at, is at NASA Armstrong Flight Research Center. Uh, that's where we're going to be testing the, the airplane, um, and we're actually using the original wing on this one. We call this Mod 2, and we're testing out our, our uh, experimental cruise motors uh, and our battery system on this airframe. Uh, that airplane is all together and is getting ready for flight. Uh, the second airplane is being used as more of a, a, a test fit article for this new, much smaller distributed electric propulsion wing. Uh, that that uh, is at um, uh, Empirical Systems Aerospace, or ES Aero, they're our prime contractor. And uh, when we're done making those modifications to those airplanes, we'll draw that all up and send that to Armstrong along with the wing to put the new wing on the airplane and compare how that performs compared to the original um, electric version of the airplane, or electric only version of the airplane. Um, so overall, um, uh, it's been an exciting project to be a part of. Um, we're looking forward to, uh, to our flights. Uh, we've been very happy with the airframe. It's been a great choice for a flight demonstrator. And I got to say, we've been even happier with the support that we've gotten from Technum. Normally, when you go out and buy an airplane or a car, they're not going to give you the blueprints or the test reports. That's been exceptionally valuable for us as we've been working on this airplane. Um, and we're really looking forward to our first flights and really showing how electric aviation can have a positive impact on aircraft performance and the environment. So thank you all for taking the time to uh, listen about this project. I hope you have a great time at Oshkosh. And I got to say, I wish I could join you. And all of us at NASA are looking forward to being there and seeing you all next year. Enjoy the show.